Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Today, we are taking our anvil from plans and pieces into a fully welded 180 pound block of steel. After prepping the materials as shown in the last video, I gathered my family together in order to contribute to the construction of the anvil. We started by TIG welding the blocks of steel that make up the bulk of the weight of the anvil. TIG welding was absolutely not necessary but it was fun to pass on my little bit of knowledge and experience to my family members. Here I am showing my older and younger brothers the basics, as well as my dad and grandpa. Afterwards, we added feet to the mild steel base. Here you can see my older brother grinding off the excess welds on the bottom to make it flush, that way it sits evenly. He's also prepping the base for the blocks of steel that make up the body that will be welded to the base. Later in the day, the rain started to come down, so we moved inside the garage for the remainder of welding. We are filling in gaps here, which we started doing by stick welding, but the most efficient way to add metal to metal is by MIG welding. It's very easy to do and adds material as fast as you can pull the trigger. After filling in the body, it was time to add the A2 face or striking surface. We did so by leaving a small gap between the face and body and adding weld to the entire thing until the gap was completely filled. We found that with the little Vulcan ProTig 165, the best welding rod to do the job was a 5 6013 general purpose rod. Anything larger and the little guy would almost certainly heat cycle out after only a small amount of welding. I would recommend 6011 as the ideal rod in order to ensure full penetration of both pieces of steel. The benefit of welding the entire face to the body is that there is no gap anywhere underneath the striking surface. This allows the greatest efficiency when hammering steel later on. After welding the entire body and face, here she is. Next up is adding the horn. Once again, we began by prepping our steel surfaces with an angle grinder. Here's your friendly reminder that clean steel always welds better. We left a pretty large area to be filled in order to ensure full penetration and strength. After all, this horn will be beaten repeatedly with a heavy hammer and the last thing we want is for it to come flying off. After tacking it up, as well as a quick wire reload, it was time to fill her up with steel. This 4140 steel horn is perfect for our purposes. After welding, we began grinding the underside to make it a bit rounder and to knock down the edges. But the steel is so hard, the metal doesn't want to be removed. The rest of it will come off later, but she works. We gave it a few light hammer blows and the horn is good to go. Stay tuned as in the near future, we will harden the top of the anvil as well as begin forging some metal with it. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to follow us on our anvil journey.